Max, come on. <clears throat> <clears throat> I have to walk through the rain. So do you. Let's go. Hi, guys. My phone's getting wet. Max, come. If I'm walking through it, you're walking through it, too. Come on. Right now. It's cold. Go potty. Hi, everybody. So, it's raining. And, um, for those of you, I just posted on Instagram the newest... Uh, tracking update on Irma and it's literally going to be coming right over us like we're literally going to be sorry guys there's water droplets hitting um, my phone screen but anyway where did Max go oh he's over there so anyway it's um Irma is going to be stopping right on top of us and this is the the beginning effects it has been raining since last night and it's actually supposed to be getting worse in probably the next 30 minutes to an hour because they said around noon it was going to be getting worse. And it's 11.59 right now, so within the next hour, this is supposed to be getting worse, apparently. Where did my dog go? Bentley! What are you doing? You never come in the rain. Come on! Good job! Come on! Max, get your butt down here. Now! Come on! You didn't poop! Go poop. I've been fighting with him all morning trying to get him to poop. No, sir. You're not doing it. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You have a rain jacket on, you wuss. It's more than I've got. I've just got a hoodie. Go poop. Now. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, guys. I'm not able to look at y'all's chat right now because my screen's wet. Um, I'm going to wipe it. Uh-oh. Hang on, let me wipe my screen off. Alright. I will check y'all's chat in a minute. And that wouldn't win. I can actually look at my screen without it getting wet. Max, go poop. You gotta go pee and you gotta go poop. Let's pull it's windy. What happened? Okay, so that wasn't like that yesterday. What? Where did that come from? I mean, obviously it came from the tree. It took off the railing. That was not like that yesterday because I walked across this yesterday. Me and Max both did. Did that happen last night? That was a big branch. Down right there, too. And I, I'm trying to look up to see which branch it came from, but, like, there's water falling in my eyes. Wow. Okay. So much for the bridge. It hasn't even hit us yet. And look at it. It's already destroying stuff. Come on, Max. I give up. I give up. I give up. I give up. I'm done. It's cold. It's wet. I'm going to let him in the house and then I'm going back over there because that's where Liam is. Can I flip the camera? I can flip the camera. Hi, guys. There. You come here. Let me take your rain jacket off. Come here. Come, come on. Right here. There you go. Wait. Max, you're getting too excited. Stop. I know. All, all I want to do is take the rain jacket off. And then you can say, there you go. It's off. Now, in, enjoy your stay. Alright. Hang on. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my phone from my screen from getting wet. And I will check all y'all's comments. Hang on. It's cold. It is really, really cold. There. Ah, it's warm in here. It's warm. Okay. 
Let me see what your comments are saying. <sighs> All right. Is the internet that bad, guys? It may have been because I was walking in the yard. So that may have been what did it. I'm cold. Like, I'm very, very cold. Hang on. Oh. <sighs> <coughs> A perfect time to be sick, right, guys? <clears throat> anyway, that is the beginning effects of Irma here. Apparently, it tore apart the bridge. <laughs> Let's go see what Grandma's reaction is. Hey, Grandma. What? So, you know the bridge out there? Mm -hmm. Um. I guess something like the winds or something last night knocked a tree, a big tree branch down and it broke off the railing. <laughs> yep. It's, I'll, I'll show you in a minute because I've got it on video because I saw it. I was like, oh. It's 25 years old. Yeah. 26. Well, I, I it was because of the tree branch falling and yeah. however the branch hit it, it knocked it off. And I was like, look at this. Irma's not even really here yet and it's already <laughs> destroying things. Hi, Bubba. What you doing, Liam? That the heater? Grandma had to unplug it so you couldn't do anything, huh? Ah. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. What? Hey, I put it on you and you run. Okay. Are you camera shy? Like, I don't like being hot, obviously, because it caused me issues. But, like, I don't like being cold either. Like, being cold doesn't bother me if I'm not sick. But when I'm sick, I just want to be comfortable. Liam's getting sick, too, though. He woke, I woke up this morning to his nose running and him congested as well, so that kind of sucks. I'm hoping it doesn't get too bad. Hi, Bubba. I think Bentley's mad. Bentley! Grandma, do you want me to let Bentley inside? Do you want me to let Bentley in? I've got Max put up. I guess so. All right. <laughs> Liam, don't you go out there. Come on, B. Uh-uh. No. Go. Not your toy. I, I know it. I know it. This is actually a dog toy, but when we went to buy this, you know, for the dog. I know it. When we went to buy this, you know, for the dog, <laughs> Liam ended up falling in love with it. Because, like, Liam loves monkeys. And his bedroom, I don't know if I've showed you guys, his bedroom is complete monkeys. So he kind of, like, I went to grab it put it in the buggy, and he adopted it. And so, just so I couldn't give it to the dog, Chase bought it for him. Because it has a squeaker in it. Bentley thought it was his. Did Bentley go in the bedroom? Yep. Bentley went in the bedroom. How you feel? Can you go get your monkey? You want your juice? Here, you can have your juice. Okay, you changed your mind? Monkey, good job. Here. Okay, well here, I'll put your juice down so you can get it, okay? Is there even anything? Is anyone even on here still? Is anyone talking? I, I feel like people don't care. 
anymore. I think I, I think I've made everyone leave me. Oh no, there's comments. Hang on. <sighs> Living life with my SD. No, I have been. Um, <sighs> I know I need to not be sniffing. Um, I'm about to go get my nose drops again. Um, they're just over at the house, and um, and my nose is raw. It is so raw, like. It burns, and every time I blow my nose, it's, like, at the point where it's so raw, like, it's bleeding. And so, it's just, it hurts. But, um, I've got, like, some nasal spray that's over at the house, along with some medicine that I've been taking. And, um, before I blow my nose, I'll put the nasal spray in, plug my nose, tilt my head back, and be like, ah, oh, I'll, I'll do, I'll literally, I'll do that. And it makes it to where... I don't really have to blow as hard and it doesn't hurt as much when I blow my nose. Um, <clears throat> all right. Let me go through comments here. Most of the animals are going to be freaking out during the storms. They are much more in tune with nature than any of us. Yes, that is true. Let's see. Uh, someone said worst thing was during the hurricane was that the puppy had an accident in his kennel. That sucks. Yeah, I think Max went to use the bathroom because he's been outside for like an hour and I've had his rain jacket on. Him and Bentley both been outside, and um, I'm sure he went at some point and used the bathroom. And we'll see. But like, I mean, when he has to go, he'll go. I know we will. <coughs> My eyes hurt. My eyes look really shiny. Jeez. What if that what if that was my everyday smile? I look I look so why did I just do that? This is alive. How many people just saw that? Uh, like I could feel like the pressure like right here in my eyeballs. Ugh. It sucks. Max is back at the house. I'm next door with Liam. Look at him. He doesn't think I see him. Liam! What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Uh, who's messing with the lamp? What are you doing? Ah yes. ah, uh -uh. sit down. Yes. Yes. Oh, he yes. was trying to turn the lamp on, oh. and it was funny too because he didn't realize I was looking at him, and then as soon as I said his name, he jumped and sat down like, "Ooh." Hey, <laughs> Ah. So he wasn't touching it. It was just that was blinking. Side pumpkin. You looked like you were touching it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. No, I thought he was messing with like the cord or something. I thought like it was one of those switches that's on a cord. I mean, I should know that's not the case because that's one of those antique lamps. To grandma, yay, grandma! Oh, you like that grandma, don't ya? Okay, let's go back to the office. Mackenzie, yeah, well, that makes sense. I mean, you just got to do what you can during, you know, hurricanes. <clears throat> How did he get sunburned? Oh, thank you, mouse. Guys, I can't breathe. Ugh. 
I don't feel good. I just realized something. And I feel dumb. Coffee. Because, you know, like, I cleaned the Keurig the other day. Or was it yesterday? I don't know. I cleaned the Keurig finally. After, like, not using it for a couple months. Because we just... I don't know. I don't know why. I think it was we ran out of coffee. And that crap's expensive. And it was back when we were doing the cups. And um, I just never cleaned it. And so, which we don't use the cups anymore. I finally found, like, just regular coffee. Like, the grinds. And we got a cup specifically for the Keurig where you can put just, like, regular coffee grinds into it. And then, like, it'll make it and you don't have to use the cups. Or, like, the pre-made cups. But... Anyway, I finally found some. So, because I like hazelnut coffee. Oh, it's so good. And I do like hazelnut coffee with hazelnut creamer. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so amazing. Oh, thanks, Abby. Oh, no, I gotcha. Hi, Miko. You might have a sensitivity to caffeine. Like, coffee, I don't like the taste of coffee normally. Like, I'm so picky about coffee. If it is not hazelnut-flavored coffee and then hazelnut creamer, I can't drink it. But, like, I like the taste of this. And, like, I don't have to put much sugar in it like this either. I can put, like, two or three teaspoons of sugar, like, in this entire cup. And... Since it tastes like hazelnut, like, I don't have that really nasty, like, dark taste of coffee. Because I don't like dark coffee. Um, but I can, I can drink it. It's so yummy. But, alright guys, I'm going to hop off here. I'm starting to feel worse. And it's because I walked around outside. Um, I'm just waiting for, you know, because it afternoon or around noon it, it was supposed to get worse over here um, and that was according to the weather channel and um, so I don't know I'll probably put on the GoPro or something uh, yes living a life with my SD I was going to tell you the girl Olivia she's doing mobility very wrong yes I saw that I did message her she has not messaged me back because um, I saw her uh live where she was trying to brace with her dog and she was she wasn't putting the weight on his shoulders like she was actually pushing on his spine like I didn't know how to brace but I don't think I was ever doing it that bad with Max like I, I tried using his shoulders and I mean you know whatever I'm, I'm not gonna get all that but people tell me I was doing it wrong so you know I'm not gonna argue with it. if I was doing it wrong I was doing it wrong but, um, you know, I messaged her because it was, it was, it was bad. And then, and then she picks up his handle and she's pulling him by the handle. That kind of defeats the purpose of mobility. If you're having to pull your dog with the handle, that defeats the whole purpose. Like the dog's supposed to be pulling you, not you pulling your dog when it comes to mobility. Like, Max, when we were training for the momentum pool, he was solid, absolutely perfect, like, no problem, wonderful at it. Same thing with this counterbalance, but we kind of put a hold on all of that. I do drink tea, too, but, um, I don't drink much soda. Like, I just, I stick to my waters and stuff. Um, we do have teas. Like, we actually have, like, those cups that are, like, you know, it's, like, a cup, and it has, like, the little tea tray holder or whatever and you can actually take your um tea and like drop it in there and then you can drop the lever and it like drops it down into here and it'll soak into the water and then you can pull the lever and it like comes back up to where it doesn't steep anymore we have those cups we have like i think three different containers of like three different kinds of teas chase really likes tea that is one thing chase loves chase loves tea like he loves different kinds of teas 
I think you just helped me. I think I just realized what I'm going to get him for Christmas. Something involving tea. Why did I not think of that? Because I was like, I, I think early in advance when it comes to like Christmas and stuff. And I've been trying to figure out like what to get him for Christmas. I'm going to get him something involving tea. Let's see. <laughs> Noah looking down a whole monster. Nothing happened. Bye, Abby. Living life with my SD. I don't know that she really likes me. I think she just so happened to like come across me, but I don't know that she really likes me. But I did reach out to her about the bracing, and I'm just waiting for her to reply back. And when she replies back, here, hang on. I'm going to, this might pause the stream. Let me go check my Instagram to see if she, hang on. Okay, sorry. Yeah, no, she did not. She has not seen my message yet. Okay. Dominique, the weather anchor. Any word on my pot yet? I'm still $600 short of going into the doctor to get diagnosed. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at. Um, as soon as, you know, anything changes, I will let you guys know. But... Yeah, I don't think that dog's 60 pounds either. And she doesn't look like she's 40 pounds or whatever, 46 pounds, whatever she said. That it kind of looks opposite. Like, she's got to be, she ain't no 40 pounds. But um, she's got to be like 70, 80 pounds at least. And then that dog looks like the dog. I mean, that dog's smaller than Max. And Max is 50 pounds. And that dog looks smaller than Max. There's no way that that dog's 60, you know, 50 pounds, let alone 60. Abby Olivia is some girl that got on my Instagram live, was asking me about mobility, and she was like, my dog's 60 pounds. And I was like, well, you know, that, that would be fine. It just depends on your weight. And then she was like, I'm like 42 or 46 pounds or something. Um, and I was like, well, if that's the case, yeah. I was like, but depending on your age, age you need to take into account like how much you're gonna grow how much weight you're gonna put on and then after the fact on my live yesterday some of you guys were telling me like she had said something about me and her live and I went on to her uh Instagram saw her dog saw her and it's just she's not it's bad it's really really bad like some of you guys thought that I was doing bad with mobility she makes me look like I was doing it perfect. And, like, I wasn't doing bracing right, but I didn't know no one told me. No one tried to take the time to tell me, and no one helped me out until after I was shitlisted. But, whatever. But, um, the rest of the mobility I was doing, like, the momentum pool that I was trying to train, the counterbalance I was trying to train, that was fine. All of that was fine. The only thing I was doing wrong with mobility work was the bracing, because I didn't know how to do it. No, I'm not going to say anything else. Living life with my SD. No, I'm pretty sure her account's still up. But yeah, the dog is too small to be doing weight bearing mobility like that. When do I meet with the lawyer to start closing the case? Okay, so he'll get the stuff in about two weeks, the last of the bills. Chase's medical has to be closed. Um, we were still waiting. He's supposed to be getting an MRI done. Um, they were supposed to send him for it, and they haven't. So I've got to call and fuss at them and harass them until they send him out for his MRI. Because he was supposed to have his MRI done three, four weeks ago. And they still haven't given us any information on that. So I've got to call his doctor's office and go off on them, be like, hey, why hasn't he had an MRI? And then harass them for, like, the next two weeks until they send him for his MRI because they obviously know they haven't done it. And then um, after he gets his MRI and his stuff gets closed, um, we should both start closing the case, which he may not want to go for an MRI anymore because I know he said he feels like he's getting a little better, but um, I don't know if he was talking about his back or something else. 
I'm not gonna. S <coughs> yeah, I didn't want to sneeze. <laughs> like my eyes are red. I've got like bags right here. And I've got like bags right here. My nose is red. My lips are red. My face is awful. <laughs> so awful. I can't breathe at all. Like, I really can't breathe. I'm done. I'm going next door. Go back to the house. I'm going to set my coffee out of the way to where the kiddo... Hey, I'll be right back. I'm going to go treat my nose. Um, she can watch Liam for a minute. Hang on, guys. Let me put the camera down so my screen doesn't get wet. Uh, yeah, I've already done that, Mouse. You can find my at-home tilt table test. I did. It's on Instagram. My heart rate, my resting heart rate, stays anywhere from 105 to 115. And that's, like, with me laying down. And then I'm constantly posting, like, pictures on Instagram when my heart rate jumps. Like, it'll jump up to, like, 160. It'll jump up to 140. I think the highest it's jumped up, it was, like, 180-something. That's just since I've started watching it in the last, like, two weeks. Um, I had a blood pressure cuff that I actually did the regular test with, and it's somewhere back in my Instagram. But, see, like, I don't even have it on yet. I put it on earlier, and I didn't even turn the heart rate thing on. Cut on. There we go. And I can set alarms on this one to where when my heart rate reaches a certain spot, like, it'll vibrate and let me know. Do a home tilt test on a live. We can. That would be fine with me. Summer cold? I think it's like a sinus infection. I was people, or people saying I'm editing stuff to make my heart rate look elevated. That's funny. I will totally 100% do the tilt tape, the, 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 the tilt table test on live. I will do it. I will do it. That's fine with me. Let me see if this is, like, I mean, I'm sure it's fine right now. It's still, it takes it a minute. Like, right now, it, it's saying 60 right now, but I just cut it on. And it's going up. So I've got to give it a minute, because when I first cut it on, it's always, it takes a second to, like, get synced in. Like, it just, it slowly grows up, but it's going up. Can I mute, y'all? Is there a way for me to mute this? Awesome! I'm gonna mute you guys really fast so I can blow my nose and not disgust you. I'll be right back. Hang on, let me get toilet paper. But. I can show y'all me putting drops in my nose, but I'm gonna step out of camera view to where you don't see me blowing my nose and I'm gonna uh, mute the microphone. Ready? Set?
I'm really happy I muted that. Because, like, in the middle of me trying to blow my nose, I end up having, like, had, like, one of those really bad, like, hacking coughs, like, where you, like, you're hacking crap up. Oh, it was bad. It was so bad. Okay. I was going to tell you, you should really try cutting those flavored waters out for a week or so. Aspartame is really bad, and I used to have really high heart rate, and I cut aspartame out. What is aspartame? Now, I've always, I've... I actually went like a month or so without drinking my waters. We just kept forgetting to buy them. And um, my problem stayed the same. I don't know what all's in here, but these are supposed to be uh, naturally flavored sparkling water. Let me see. Ingredients. Filtered carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavor, potassium citrate, aspartame. Okay, yeah, it has aspartame. Potassium. Benzite. So it does have aspartame. Can you explain to me what aspartame is? Um, but like I said, um, I've had, like, I actually, I've went longer than, um, you know, even a month. Because I started drinking them back when I was, like, I don't know, 16, I guess I discovered them. But, like, my mom, we didn't buy a lot of them. Like, she would buy me, like, one or two every, like, once a month. You know, it wasn't something, we weren't always at Walmart, and she wasn't always, you know, just going to buy the drinks for me. We couldn't afford it. And so, like, I'd drink them here and there. And y'all got to remember, I've been dealing with these problems since I was, like, what, 13, 14? It was 13 or 14 when it started. Um, and I didn't discover those until I was, like, 15 or 16. I don't know. Anyway, and I wasn't drinking them all the time. And so there was, like, one point, like, I loved them. But there was, like, a point where I didn't really start drinking them the way I drink them until after I moved in with Chase. Um, you know, after me and Chase got together, whatever. And then, even then, like, when I was pregnant, I'd get a couple of them. But, um, here and there. But really, I haven't really started drinking them the way I drink them. Until after, uh, I had Liam because, uh, of breastfeeding. Because you guys know, like, you know, breastfeeding, you're supposed to stay hydrated. You're supposed to br drink, you know, a certain amount of water. And I was not good about drinking water. I didn't like the taste of just regular waters. And so, um, I started getting these after I had Liam to make sure I was staying hydrated enough to produce milk because I was breastfeeding. And that's really when I started drinking them all the time and, like, where we'll go and, like, get a bunch of them. But even then, I wasn't drinking them all the time. I would try to get a couple of them every week, but, like, I wasn't doing it, like, drinking water, like, the way I should. It wasn't up until probably, I guess, really the last eight months that I've really started drinking these, like, on a daily basis, like, clearing out the shelves kind of drinking them but that's just what I do now but all of those years before of n not really drinking them um I don't know if that makes a difference but uh I don't know but that that's my story on these I, I don't I'm, I'm waiting to see what else you say okay so it's artificial sugars uh, thank you Abby I can breathe clearly now because of nasal spray. I can smell all there is to smell. Okay, that didn't rhyme, but you know the song, I can see clearly now. Okay, the rain has gone. Anyway, time to take my medicine for this crap, which is... So I'm taking, trying to get rid of this crap. Oh. Let's see. Things have gotten worse in the last several months. I'm just wondering if it could be part of the culprit to why you are feeling so crummy lately. Things started getting worse when I was pregnant. And it was um, during my pregnancy that things started getting worse. And... Um, <laughs> But it was really before my pregnancy. So, when I met Chase, I was starting to have issues. Like, more issues than I normally do. That was around the time I moved out of my mom's. 
um, or yeah, it was, I met Chase a couple months after I moved out and started living with some roommate, roommates. Um, anyway, I was starting to have more issues then, and like my roommates knew about it. And then, you know, I met Chase, and then, um, went after I got pregnant, so, you know, me and Chase met, I remember I was having more issues, um, they weren't as severe, I mean, I was still passing out and stuff like that, you know, but, um, I've been passing out from all of this since I was 14, 15, whatever, however old I was, whatever, I don't remember, we'll just say 14, 13, 14, 15, however old, I'd have to ask my mom, she would know the number better than me, but I've been passing out since then, um, but it's just, I think it has just something to do with I'm getting older and my issues are just getting worse. And so it's like, when I met Chase, my issues were just getting worse. And then pregnancy, I guess my body, it was really hard for my body to handle pregnancy anyway. So I think that that was part of it was that I had... A difficult time just being pregnant and my body handling pregnancy and I think that just kind of that played off on to some of my medical issues and just made my medical issues worse as well because I was already having a difficult time with pregnancy and then I had medical issues but um they've just since then they've just steadily gotten worse and it's like it's definitely been like this pattern where up until I was like 17, it just kind of stayed, like, okay, so I was 13, whatever, 13, 14, I was fine, starting to experience some symptoms, getting, you know, maybe heat sensitive, you know, getting dizzy, you know, maybe nauseous, no biggie, I passed out, so I went to here, because when I started passing out, so I stayed, you know, with my symptoms, and, you know, my passing out every now and then, stayed, you know, like here, continue to stay like that for until the time I was about 17 and when I hit 17 it went up another notch I started dealing with more symptoms um more physical exhaustion okay so my watch is working now um uh, there we go that says 133 if you guys can't see it um but, anyway, uh, started dealing with, like, more physical exhaustion, just, like, my nausea, my heat sensitivity, and all that, you know, just slowly got worse. And then, you know, I went from there to, like, sorry, I'm cold. I went from there to, like, um, I hit 18, I hit 19, you know, my issues went from, like, being here to being up here. And that's where I've gone. And from being there... I'm about to be 21 in, what's today? Today's the what? Today's 11th. I'll be 19 in, or I'll be 19. I'll be 21 on the 30th. So in just a little over two weeks, I'll be uh, 21. But my issues have just like exponentially, like in the last couple of years, have went from being like way down here to being up here. And I think it's just, it's been like this gradual growth. So I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, let me see. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll definitely see. Let's see, I started watching your videos about three months ago. It seems like you've gotten a lot worse since then. So it just seems like you're declining. That's why I want you to get into the doctor. <laughs> Snipes. Who is that? Samantha Snipes. Who is that? Because I know that last name. Is that my second mama? And like, if you're not family, I'm sorry, but I have family and their last name is Snipes. And it's like my second mama. So. Okay, so it's just you, Sammy. Hi, Sammy! I wasn't sure if, like, your mom was on, um, yours or something. Hi, Sammy. That is Sammy. That's my sister. 
Well, I know who you are. All you had to say is I'm your sister. And I would have known, oh, it's Sammy. She's my sister. Hi. Anyway, back to um, three months ago. So three months ago, I wasn't showing my, I wasn't as open like with my health issues like as I have been. Since I've gotten Max, I've gotten a lot more comfortable like showing, I guess, and talking more about my health issues, talking more about me and, and things like that. Um, and that's something, you know, like maybe one day we can all sit down and like have Chase on live and like get Chase to talk about it. if I can ever get him to come on camera. And, you know, maybe that's something that, like, we can sit down and, like, maybe Chase can put his input on it as well. And, like, he can also, like, explain to you that this has been something that, you know, I've been dealing with, you know, for a long time. And it's not that it's just, like, all, all of a sudden that in the last couple months gotten worse. It's just this is how it's been. I've just recently started opening up more about it. Sammy, I love you. Tell Haven I love her too, please. And, like, I would like to see my sisters. Mulan! <clears throat> Guys, did you know that Disney is doing a live-action Mulan? They're supposed to be. Yes, Sammy, I want to see you guys, too. Like... You know, y'all were supposed to come for Liam's birthday. Y'all were supposed to come after I had Liam. And then for my birthday. And then for Liam's birthday. And now it's six months after Liam's birthday. Like, when do I see you guys? Okay. We are. Mm. I'm just worried about you. We all are. I know y'all are. And that's like, I love you guys so, so much for that. Because, like, it just, it means a lot to me, you know? And so, like, I, I love you guys to death for, like, worrying about me and, like, caring about me. And, you know, that means a lot to me. We need to get you caring up so we can get you better. Would you feel better if Rachel or someone like that started for you? Then it wouldn't be you asking I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I don't really want to be a part of anything like that, you know? That's just, that's not something, like, I'm comfortable, like, with really asking. Like, I made one, but I haven't shared it because I was like, it took me, a, it was a big step for me to even make one. Because, like, everyone kept saying something about it. I was like, okay, I'll make it. And then I made it, and I'm just like, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> um... I don't even think I, like, published it or whatever. I don't know. But, like, I tried making one. I just never shared it. And I'm just, like, I don't know. I just, I don't really want to be a part of it, you know, if that makes sense. Like, it's just not something, like, I want to do. I guess I'm just not comfortable with it. Guys, I look so bad. Like, sinuses suck. Yes, Mulan is amazing. I know, Sam, Sam. I could get the $600 in one day. Oh, my God. I would be calling that day and, like, setting up an appointment. And, like, because when I talked to the um, place, she was like, I, I called on a Monday. And she was like, I can get you in Wednesday. And I was like, wait, I don't have $600. Like, I'm, I'm just trying to find out information. And so, like, that would be something, like, where I could call. And as long as they had something open, like, I could be in within the week. And just start getting some treatment. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't tell you guys no. Y'all are, you know, y'all are your own people. Y'all y'all are y'all's own person. Y'all are gonna do what you guys want to do. I can't tell you guys no. I mean, y'all are gonna do what you want to do. I don't want to. I don't want to, like. <sighs> I don't really. I don't want to do it. Like. I can't tell you guys, no, you can't do it because, you know, I don't have control over your lives. 
you know, it, it's your own life. You know, y'all are going to do what you guys want to do. But, like, I don't want to do it. Like, that's not, I'm not going to go make it and then be like, hey, everybody, here, I did this. Y'all go give me money or something. You know, I need to get it. I'm not, I can't do that. Like, when I was asking for money for Max, that was different. Like, for, for Max, it was one of those things where I was trying to get gear for Max. I was trying to get him on a better dog food, which, um, you know, luckily Blue Buffalo helped us out. And, you know, we, we've got that worked. We've got that taken care of now. But, um, like, when I, it, it's easier for me to ask for stuff when it's not for myself when it's for myself I can't do it like I'm that person I'm I'll do anything and everything I can for anybody and everyone else but myself but when it comes to myself I don't take care of myself as well as I should I, I try to take care of others more like that's how I've always been I know that's how I am you know I'm fine with that but I just, I can't do it for myself. I know. And Liam, he's like the only reason like I want to get better. Like, I mean, obviously, you know, I want to get better because I want to be better. But Liam, God. That little boy's my world. You know, that's like something where... I don't want him growing up seeing me this sick and, and, you know, dealing with it that bad. You know, I don't want him to grow up with that. That's my baby boy. You know, I want him to grow up like with his mom. I want to be able to go outside and play baseball with him. You know, I want to be able to throw a ball around with him or run out in the woods and play tag or play hide and seek. You know, I want to be able to walk through the store and hold my child and carry him. I want to do that. That's what I want to do. I can't even walk through the store and carry him because it physically exhausts me so fast. I can't do it. I want to walk through the grocery store and hold my child. That's what I want to do. I want to be able to go out, not have to only depend on my husband to hold him and take care of him when we're out and about because I'm trying to take care of myself out and about because I'm so sick. I want to be able to take care of him when we're all about. I take care of him all day at home. Yes. I take care of him 24-7 at home. Yes. I am the one who gets up with him throughout the night. Chase sleeps. Chase has never once woken up with Liam in the middle of the night. Even when I have been throwing up sick. Chase has never woken up with Liam in the middle of the night. Even if Chase didn't have to work the next day. Chase has never once gotten up with Liam in the middle of the night to take care of Liam. It has always been me. I can be throwing up sick. My head in the toilet. You know what I do? My son, I'm holding him if it's in the middle of the night and he woke up, especially when he was little and he woke up in the middle of the night and he wasn't feeling good and he needed medicine or, you know, whatever. We breastfed. I don't care, even if it would have been a bottle. But I was my, literally, I was sick, throwing up, my head in the toilet. I had my kid in my arm. He was on my boob and my head was in the toilet. <laughs> no lie, that is what I did. Chase wouldn't get up and feed him a bottle. Chase slept. You know, but I want to do that in public. Like, maybe not have my boob hanging out, you know. But I want to take care of him like that in public. That's what I want to do. I don't... Uh, I want to take care of him in public. Not just when I'm at home. Because when I'm at home, I can crawl on the floor. You know, I can lay in the middle of the floor and just be like, I don't care here. You know, I can lay in the middle of the floor. I can drag myself through my house on the floor. You know, I can lay on the couch. I don't have to walk. I'm not having to move around, you know. I want to be able to take care of him in public. Like, that's what I want to do. I want to be able to go to the park with him and be able to go up and down all of the equipment with him. Because I, I can do it every now and then if I'm having a good day. I can. But it's not always like, um, I, I can't do it for long. And it exhausts me. And so, like, I try to bring him to the park, but we can't stay long. Because I, I get to where I'm not feeling well. And Chase doesn't, you know, Chase is the person. He wants to sit home. 
he doesn't want to go out and do anything. So if lambs go into the park, he's going to the park with me because Chase doesn't want to do anything like that. So um, it's one of those things where I do the stuff like that with Liam. Um, Chase just never wants to go to the park. Chase will like, you know, we'll all go out together, but we don't ever go to the park or anything like that, you know. And so for me, like, I try to bring Liam once a month. That's my goal is to bring him to the park once a month. I want that to be once a week. That's what I want. I want to feel so healthy and feel so good that I'm able to bring Liam to the park by myself once a week, not once a month. I want to do it once a week because he loves the park so much. He loves the playground. Anyway, I'm going to stop ranting. Y'all got me talking about my baby. Um, he can do all of those things with the help of a state-of-the-art Android nanny. Now, only $1,200 plus shipping. Hi, guys. Am I doing good since Irma? We are feeling the effects of Irma here as we speak. This is the beginning of Irma. Yep, this is the beginning of Irma. It's supposed to be getting worse here soon because it is, what time is it? It's 12.50. And on the news, it said around noon and afternoon, whatever, it's supposed to be getting worse. And so, I'm just waiting for it to get worse. Because it already broke our bridge. Like, it legitly broke the bridge. It knocked a tree branch off, the tree branch fell, and it hit the, br the bridge. And it broke the railing on the bridge. It actually, like, completely knocked the railing off. <laughs> it's cold out there. I was about to turn the heater on, and then I remembered Chase put the heater in the bathroom. Uh, would I ever think of using a wheelchair so I can conserve energy and still do what I want to do? I have thought about it. And that's why a lot of times when we go in public, if they have um, an electric wheelchair, you guys will see me use it. And like all video. And Max, you know, Max is the very first time using it. We had never used one. And like I've got that video on here too. Like Max is, my head hurts. Max is first time using it. Um, but I have that on video too. And, like, it's literally... Oh, that's heavy. Hang on. I'm going to try to lift up this little heat. He, blah, blah, blah. I can't talk with this heater. So I can plug it in. Because it's getting a little chilly. There, hang on, guys. But, um... Warmth going, but yeah. Anyway, um, I have thought about getting um, a wheelchair. I like I've noticed like when I'm in public, you know, it's a lot easier for me if they have the electric wheelchairs. I use those, and it's a lot easier for me. Now, Liam, I can't really hold Liam when I'm driving them because obviously you know it's a handle and my son is very strong and he likes to try to wreck me and he has done it because there were times like you know when I would video of course you know I wouldn't be holding Liam because I was trying to video and drive a wheelchair and control Max so like the, in the videos y'all don't really see me holding Liam or driving with Liam but like when I wasn't videoing and you know we were doing the rest of our shopping whatever I would hold Liam and he honestly came about this far from running me into a person because don't underestimate babies guys like we're what we're driving we're doing fine and then he just jerks and we almost hit someone and like I had to hurry up and you know let go of the uh, thing and then that was the first time and I was like okay you know we'll try it again and then I guess about a week later I was trying it we were trying it again and where I was holding him trying to drive Guys, he made a wreck. He, it went everywhere. We were driving. He was holding onto the steering, the little steering, steering wheel, whatever. And that was fine, whatever. He wasn't jerking. He was doing very well. Let me drive and just holding his hand on it. You know how sometimes they have like those baskets in the middle of grocery stores? Like they have like boxes of stuff or like not the baskets, but like the stands. Like they'll just be sitting in the middle of the floor. It has like cereals or you know whatever on it he grabbed his hand 
and ended up getting his hand around the lever that like you pull to make it go forward and, like where when you're holding the handle there's like the level here lever here and you just hold it <coughs> down and it makes you go he got his hand on that and I didn't realize it and he jerked the steering wheel we went straight into it so I don't drive with Liam with those anymore <laughs> it was awful it was really bad it was funny though I thought I was going back to the other house. I'm going to in a minute. Liam is over there with Grandma. She's watching him, taking care of him. She's been playing with him and all. So I'm going to sit here and warm my feet up for a minute. And I'll go back over there uh, when I get off of here. I'm not going to be on here much longer. But <sighs> my feet are frozen. So I'm like trying to warm up my feet. <laughs> But yeah, I am going to go. We got people in Miami. Hey, I'm in Alabama, not Florida. I have tried to do yoga. I get too dizzy. I, I try, though. Okay, let me go. Let's see. Alyssa. Well, don't do that. And that's fine, Alyssa. You can show me. Well, Juniper, the bridge didn't almost fall on me. It's like, it's not like a big bridge. It's just like a little bridge that, you know, was built. Hey, ignore my laundry basket back there. It's just like this little bridge that was built that runs over the little, like, creek in the middle of the yard. Because it floods, you know. And it was just, I think they just built it kind of like for decoration, just to put it out there. And the tree branch hit the bridge and it knocked off the railing. Like, it's on the, it's in the beginning of this live it's on here in the beginning of this live, I think. Is it this live or the other live? No, I think it's this live. I don't remember. It's cold in here, too, which is why I'm going ahead and turning the heater on. And uh, that way it's a little warmer. But anyway, hi, Kendall. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here. Um, I'll keep you updated on the weather. And look, right on time, she's bringing Liam back. Y'all can't see her, but she's bringing Liam back. So... I will see you guys later. Bye, everybody.